ladies and gentlemen welcome to our leo ascendant video for jupiter transit and as you know jupiter is going to be transiting into your seventh house so what will jupiter do you know during the time it's sitting in the sign of aquarius this year starting literally in a week so the first thing you will see obviously this spirit brings opportunities for single people to have the opportunity to meet some people relationships definitely it can even bring marriage if saturn either uh, you know sits in the sixth house originally in your birth chart so the transiting saturn is in the sixth house jupiter is in the seventh house so the double transit of jupiter and saturn brings in marriage or if let's say saturn in your birth chart aspects venus let's say in the third house eighth house twelfth house you know currently then it will also activate chances for marriage and uh, meeting people one of the other things you will see is that if you are married your spouse is going to be somehow buying a fish aquarium spouse is going to buy either some kind of a tank of water or most likely nowadays is more related to like fish and fish aquariums the other things you will see is that you're going to get an opportunity to attend conferences where you're going to be kind of um, be the person on a stage giving some form of presentation so obviously you know right now everything's let's say happening on zoom sure it can happen on zoom over you know digital media or some places where things are fully open like for example texas you have a conference in texas or florida well you're going to go in in person in some hotel so there's going to be this opportunity and this opportunity is going to be a uh, paying back karma to a group big group of people where you're going to present certain educational you know information and some research-based information the other thing we also see is that if your married spouse can come into wealth from their own family for example uh, you know, a spouse's family could be s selling a plot of land, something, some farm, and they will now get a piece of that. So they will like pay a piece from the sale. And those things will happen. And especially this Jupiter will also increase your professional network circles. And any kind of communication you have, whether it's via email, text messages, social media, phone calls, they will actually go more in your favor and benefit than let's say you know before where it could have been a lot of struggle time trying to get your message through so those type of things will happen and and the other thing we also see is the spouse may also want to make some secret investment meaning uh this is something you may be aware of and you and your spouse want to just quietly secretly make some kind of a investment for yourself but one of the things we also see especially during this particular period while Jupiter is in Aquarius you know um, even if it's retrograde is that I see career progress for Leo ascendant individual career progress will happen in this period and because the seventh house represents other people represents you know um you can say opponents you can say you know somebody who's in front of you you will run across many many mentors counselors teachers however they will be the most like hippie type you know teachers and mentors people who will have very unorthodox viewpoint about life you know instead of talking about real practical things they may talk about energies you know they may talk about auras you know your energy has to be right before these things can happen so you'll run into those type of uh, you know mentors and teachers during this time period that may actually help you through their abstract information 
that you know is real could be real could be you know uh, very much valuable but it's just that if it's not been recognized in society it may still look you know kind of a bit of an outcast type deal but overall and this is going to be a strong and good transit in terms of creating more relations in your life whether it's for romantic reasons or whether it's for you know business and educational reasons so take advantage of this particular timing to create the right connections now obviously when jupiter goes retrograde okay this is and, and especially the part that i was talking about of of running into mentors and teachers and advisors who are going to be a little bit unorthodox that's going to happen when jupiter is retrograde okay so anyway guys this was my analysis of jupiter in the seventh house for leo sun and people if you're new to my channel subscribe below so you don't miss these videos and if you want to know where your jupiter's place all your zoological details check out the links here otherwise uh, we'll see you later bye bye